first got involved in this furniture making, everybody was making things out of imported dark hardwoods. And I was, I, and I started, I started analyzing their work. And I started thinking, I think perhaps some of these designs are hiding behind dark hardwood and aren't really as great a design as the wood is suggesting. And I was wondering, could I, could I work in, in uh, the extreme opposite, local white light woods and still design good pieces? And then I started discovering the complexity of the Northeast Florida. Honey locust and Kentucky coffee and uh, blue butt tulip poplar, Ohio buckeye burls and black locust and sourwood and, and hop hornbeam. So I started arrangements with some sawmills to buy everything they couldn't sell. And we'll take it without any question. So it didn't, we, you know, that was our agreement. You put it in a pile, we will buy it, whatever it is. The vast majority of you go to a mill shop and they'd see a wood with a knot and it's a defect. And we just see it as an opportunity. It, it's partly to do with the, the fact that those things are in fact inherently beautiful and interesting, but it has as much to do with the fact that you don't want to throw anything out. You don't want to waste this hard effort of nature to produce these trees that we, you, I mean, you go to, go to a mill shop, you'll see truckloads of scrap and waste. It makes your head spin, you know. So we try not to waste anything because, well, we have a motto, there's no bad wood. <laughs>